G'day all. Uh, I was looking around in my steam room this morning and I realised that this little Whedon number 43 has been sitting up on the shelf for almost eight years without a run. So I thought I would rectify that today and uh, steam it up and show you guys this little Whedon. So we will get some metho in the burner for you guys it's winter down here in Australia so all you blokes and ladies in the northern hemisphere I hope you're really enjoying your summer and it's nice and warm and everything you wish it was and if it's really stinking hot where you are, I hope you've got air conditioning to enjoy. And I hope you're doing all those things that uh, we do in summer. Always well, hard to do something with your left hand when you're filming videos. Bit of spirit spill there. Okay. Get some water into the boiler. Just where's the water going in? It's amazing looking through my log book and you notice that it's been such a long time between runs of a, of an engine. I don't know if you blokes and ladies out there, I don't know if you keep a logbook for your engine runs, but uh, I always have, and it's just it's just really handy. It's not like doing homework. It's not it's not a bore. It only takes a few seconds to write in an entry when you run something. But uh, I, for me, I just like being able to look back and know that um, I've got to apologize. I'm laughing in the background here. I have to apologize. I don't think I've ever done a YouTube video without dogs barking. And as I explained it to you before, uh, the dogs hear me talking. And of course, they think that there's someone, a visitor's coming. So they've got to go crazy, like they always do when somebody comes. So I apologise that. I apologise to all of you for that. But what would it be? Alright, just going to have to turn this off for a second and go and do something back again. Sorry about that little interruption, but I think I've quietened him down now. Okay, that's the safety in. I'll light the burner. Slip that in. This isn't the original burner. This is a DIY homemade burner. I didn't make it, it came with the, the engine. Slip that under there. Okay. So now we'll wait a bit and um, put that on the right in the middle. This will take a little while, so I'll take the camera off the tripod and I'll give you some close ups of the engine while we're waiting for it to come to boil. Okay, here's a little Whedon 14. Still got the the maker's transfer on there. It's nice with the side glass on it. It's got a, a cast iron stand, this one. It's missing the fake governor. Nice cast iron flywheel. These Whedons have very thin, very thin brass boilers. They do look nice though with these dimples that they've put in when they've made them. The whistle does work on this. There's the steam valve on the side. You can see in here, it's quite a simple 
Stream chest and just the one um, stream line coming down. It's a close up in get the camera focusing. These are fairly common on eBay, you see them come up, mostly in America, I see, see a fair few sometimes in Canada, but mostly in America. I think any boy back in the early days when Whedon was making these, and all the other Whedons that they were making, I think any boy would have been pretty happy to have gotten one of these under the Christmas tree, or for his birthday, and uh, I think he would have been pretty busy uh, lighting that fire and getting these boiling and steaming up these as m many times as he could possibly find time to steam it up. What a great toy this would have been. Alright, I'll leave you now and I'll come back when this is boiled up. Alright, back again. That's the boring part, waiting for this to come up to steam. It's slowly getting there. Sounding promising. I can just sort of hear it starting to boil in the boiler, so it should be a minute, maybe a minute or two, and uh, we'll see if we can get that flywheel turning under steam. Let's try this chimney now, oh, it's not not chimney, let's try this whistle now. Uh, it's a little bit more. Always when I, I'm steaming, especially an old vintage engine like this, uh, I, I just have to think of who owned it, where it came from, and uh, I, got, I think a lot of you would have seen that very other old Whedon that I put up that had a note in it, and uh, a member of the Maynard Forum did some genealogy research and found out who had owned it and uh, where it came from so it is always very interesting these old engines do have a story and history behind them okay that's getting some steam now very close open that steam valve up a bit Thing coming out there, so let's see. I'm not sure which way. Oh, there we go, straight away. First, first flick of the flywheel. I hadn't pre run this or anything. This is as what you've seen on the video is what I've done. And there we are, the old Whedon number 43.
what a wonderful old engine. So smooth. So very smooth, just running along. Absolutely beautiful there. Eh? Sounds beautiful. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed watching this old Whedon running as much as I've enjoyed running it. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.